Hey guys, welcome back. We are going to continue playing at Dead of Night, so here we go. Alright, so where we left off, I'm trying to remember. We left off going to, I think, the it was the ground floor. There's something we need to do at the ground floor. So we're just going to return. Alright. He sounds pretty far away, so we're just going to go ahead and try to make our way to the elevator without him getting us. Um, this way? No. <laughs> Jesus! Well, that was fast. Where did it put me? Hopefully the first floor. Yeah, we're just gonna leave. Well, that was pretty fast for him to get us. Yeah, we're on the first floor. So we need to make our way to the storeroom, which is this way. Over here, because we need to get our spirit box back. Because when Jimmy just bonked us, he took it. Okay. And then we can finally make our way to the ground floor. All right, let's get out of here. Oops, wrong, wrong arrow. Okay, let's go to the ground floor finally. Okay. Ground floor is great. I love when we have to go to the ground floor because Jimmy can't be on the ground floor. All right, let's follow the compass. So we already hear noises going on. In here? I would never use force like that on a patient, Mrs. Hall. It goes against everything I believe in. You have to understand, he's making it all up. Is he? All right, let's talk to Dr. Bose. Is it Dr. Bose? Yes, I'm Dr. Bose. I saw you trying to explain what happened with Jimmy. You seem desperate. Okay. But I managed to convince Rose Jimmy was making it up. And how did he do that? Okay. So, um, let's go to the kitchen. Oh, look, there's a wooden paddle. Hmm. They're, they're all over the place, I guess. Alright, we are going to go into the kitchen so that we can scry and see. I think we have to go to the third floor. Second. Dang it, second floor got a lot bigger since that hallway opened up. We must be missing something on the second floor. Like, is there a door we didn't go in or something? Because it keeps um, mentioning the second floor. So maybe we should just try to go back into all the rooms and see if we miss something. This way. And Jimmy, he's always causing problems for me. Okay, second floor. So 
So we must have missed something. It, it's telling us to go to the third, but I've kind of noticed that when it shows a floor first, th there's like an artifact or something in the drawer that you missed. So let's go this way, because we remember we weren't able to go this way at first. So we're going to start with 201. Go in here. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, a key. Nothing. All right. So it looks like we got everything from here. And I don't hear Jimmy yet. So that's a good thing. Let's just go back into these rooms. See what's in this chest. Of course. The bats. I don't hear him yet, so we're going to take advantage of it. And try to speed run this a little bit. Okay, this is dark. Doesn't help me. Leave. And if I'm remembering correctly, and I could be wrong, I think one of these rooms is dark too. Hmm. Okay, this is the Hugo Punch thing. Fan and Compass. Okay, so he's here now. So let's wait to listen for him before we do anything else. Still don't hear him. Now I hear him. I hear his footsteps. Let's look. Jimmy, where are you? So is he is Hugo Punch this like persona that he's created that acts out in ways that Jimmy psychologically psychologically can't see himself doing? That's my theory that it's like a dissociate like he dissociated or something. I don't know. Maybe it's not even that complicated. Maybe he's just crazy and blames it on Hugo Punch. Who knows? We will find out. Oh, okay. It wasn't dark, but it's, um... I, I'm scared. We're going. It was locked. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna wait. Because I'm pretty scared. Especially because this is a dead end. And if he's... I only have one way out, you know. So, let's see what happens. He's still pretty close. Hmm. Maybe we're okay. If not, we'll just get bonked again. This way, I think. Yeah. No, you don't, honey. This is room 201. I didn't want to go in here. But Jimmy could be close, so I'm fine with it. Let's wait to see if he is going to look at us through this little hole. It scares me every time. But I don't think it's him. I think it's the music. Hmm. It's kind of funny when, like when you watch playthroughs. Okay, he sounds far enough away. When you watch playthroughs of other YouTubers... You kind of, like, have a full sight of everything, and you're like, oops, 
you're like, how can they not see that? Like, if it's a puzzle, like, when I'm doing, when I'm trying to solve the things with the spirit boxes, it's kind of like, it's kind of funny because you always think, oh, why are they not understanding? Like, you think that putting those two together makes so much sense. I'm dead. He's in here. See that right there? And it still scared me. It's the noise. Um, anyway, when you're watching another YouTuber try to solve these puzzles, and you see these two things, you're like, why are they not, why are they not paying attention and putting those two together to solve this puzzle? It's weird, like, now that I'm doing videos and kind of seeing it more from that perspective, you see that you're kind of... You don't see the full picture like you do when you're watching it. You're more like experiencing the game and there's a lot going on. Is this the right way? I don't even think this is the right way. There's just a lot going on and it makes it hard to try to solve those puzzles. More difficult than it would be when you're a person viewing it, seeing the whole thing. So that's something that I've learned from starting to record my own videos too is, you know, you judge pretty harshly thinking how can they not get that, but it's just your brain works so different when you're actually recording it. Okay, we're just going to go to the third floor because I think I, I don't know what I need on the second floor. So we're just going to go up there. The camera just whips around like that and just the anticipation of something standing or that something could be standing there is what scares me every time the camera whips like that. Alright, let's see what the compass is doing. This way. This way still? Have I been down here? You made it Jeez. I'm telling you, he's been lying about everything, probably lying about the other stuff as well. He wouldn't lie about something like that. You sure about that? He lies about everything. Open your bloody eyes, Rose. Rose is oh, in that's denial. Right. Walk off. I'm not listening, Harvey. You've just got it in for him. Harvey. It's the truth. Is anyone there? I can't hear you. Alright, we're going in here then. Now let's try it. Is someone there? What's your name? Harvey? Harvey. I run the place. Oh, is Rose his wife? I saw a man saying Jimmy had lied about the assault. Who was he? It was me. Jimmy had made accusations about the doctor. Rose believed him, but I'd heard that story somewhere before. Where was the crossbow from? Oh, I'm sure he was. What are those rusty old keys for? They were for the old boys room door. Who does the gun belong to? It was mine. It belonged to my father. Still had a few rounds with it. Okay. Was there a fire at the hotel? Okay. Who is Hugo Punch? He probably won't know. I don't know. What were all the crickets and baseball bats for? I kept them. In case I needed them. Needed them? For what, man? Who wrote the note that says goodbye? I don't know. Who did the wedding ring belong to? Probably belongs to Rose. 
What was the coil of wire used for? Jimmy used to carry it around with him. No idea why. Jimmy was an interesting little kid, wasn't he? Why is there an old heater marked dangerous? He was getting electric shocks. I kept it so the police could check it. What? Who drew those violent pictures? Who do you think? Jimmy. He had a very violent imagination, did little Jimmy. I saw some suitcases in a chest. Who did they belong to? Rose, but she never used them. I found some trophies. Who won them? I don't know anything about that. Okay. Where did the wooden paddle come from? It was always under the counter in reception. I don't know where it came from. Weird. Okay. Why is there a collection of whiskey bottles in one of the rooms? I don't remember. There's nothing wrong with having a drink. If you're of age. Who did the child's purse belong to? It was that girl's purse. Poor thing. I found a bottle of turpentine and lighter. What were they for? They were my things. But I didn't keep them together. Why is there a blood-stained cloth in one of the drawers? I don't know, but it might have had something to do with the doctor. Ooh. Where did the bottle of diazepam come from? Probably the doctor left it. We're just gonna ask on? about everything. The chef. Who else wears a chef hat? Why is he so grumpy? I saw the little girl shouting to Jimmy to give her toy back. Why did he take it? Who knows? He probably thought it was funny. Hmm. I saw the little girl, Amy, holding a toy on fire. What happened? She was burned. Pretty badly. He knows a lot. I saw Amy outside a room. Something frightened her. What was it? She was probably scared of Jimmy. It's probably accurate. I'm also scared of Jimmy. I saw a scrapbook with newspaper articles in it. Who made it? Jimmy. He used to keep cutouts of news stories about abusive teachers and doctors. He wasn't a normal boy. Well, that's an interesting turn of events. Why was there a washing line tied around a rolling pin? He won't know. Yeah, we'll see. I saw a man knocking on a door, telling Jimmy he was there to help. Who was it? It was Dr. Bowes. He was supposed to help Jimmy. But Jimmy was beyond help. Oh no. I saw Amy drinking something. She didn't seem to like it. What was it? I don't know. Okay. I saw Dr. Bose holding a dead animal on a wire. What had happened? Jimmy said he'd found it somewhere. No, he didn't. What he was doing with it is another story. What was he doing with it? I saw the little girl at the top of the stairs on the banister. What was she doing? She dropped a bottle of whiskey. She didn't know what she was doing. I saw Amy lying at the bottom oh, no. of the stairs. What happened to her? She fell from the top floor down the stairs. I knew Jimmy was behind him. He had to be. I saw Dr. Bose outside the kitchen talking to Jimmy. What was he doing? The doctor was trying to educate Jimmy. Get him to help out. Big mistake. I saw Dr. Bo spitting out blood. What happened? He learned about Jimmy the hard way. Jimmy's pranks always went too far. Well, that's not good. I saw Dr. Bo's with a needle talking to Jimmy. What was he doing? He might not know. I don't know. I wasn't there. I 
saw Dr. Okay. Bose trying to explain what happened with Jimmy. He seemed desperate. He was worried about what else Jimmy would make up about. And he was right to be. True. Okay. Jimmy had made accusations about the doctor. Rose believed him, but I'd heard that story somewhere before. So we are going to pair that with the newspaper and ask. When you said you'd heard the story somewhere before, does that have something to do with what you said about the scrapbook? It came straight out of it. As soon as I found that scrapbook, I knew where Jimmy had got it from. It was the same, down to every detail. Well, Jimmy needs to be a little bit more inventive, I think. <laughs> okay. Have I been over here? Yeah, I remember a room that had another... Yeah. Okay. We're going to leave. It was dark in here. The compass was leading over here. But now that we're in here, we might as well wait to hear where Jimmy is because I don't want to get bonked. And I hear um, some footsteps going on, so. Or is that knocking? Mm-hmm. So he's fairly close. He's, I think, headed in our direction. So... We just gotta wait for one more. Yeah, I learned the hard way that, um, if you go right for the pair that you're looking for when you're talking to a spirit, um... You're going to miss out on a lot of other details that if you would have asked about items individually first because you, lo you lose them right after that. So I'm like, let's just ask about every item. And Harvey knew a lot. Okay, come on, Jimmy. Where are you? Dude, Jimmy has some problems. And I hear pounding, and we need to follow it. And Jimmy's right behind us too. See the red? We gotta hide. Is he coming in? I don't like that. very windy outside. Maybe he's not coming in here. Hmm. Alright, let's just look then. Jimmy, talk to me. Okay. He sounds far enough for right now. So we can leave this room.
he coming in here? No, he isn't, thank God. Okay. <laughs> I like how he says Maya. Okay, this is a dead end. Uh, there's a lot, excuse me. There's a lot of dead ends on the third floor. So. It always kind of sucks because if you're in a room, you're probably at a dead end, so. Hmm. We good? Let's leave. Let's get out of here. Maybe we'll scry in one of these rooms. I don't remember if I've been in here. It's just, yes, I have. Okay. I don't know why I checked the other one. Okay, let's scry a little bit. Okay, Harvey, we know that that's Harvey. At least I think we do. I can't really tell the difference between him and Dr. Bowes. Second floor is telling us. Okay. What room is that? Can't tell, but it's at a dead end. That's what I can. That looks like where we are, actually. But we're on the third floor. Hmm. Very weird. Yeah. It does. Let's get out of here. I just think, I just think for how cheap this game is, you're, I mean, it's three floors of a hotel plus the lobby and the basement. I mean, there's hours and hours you can spend on this game. Like, it's very cheap considering what you're getting. All right. Let's get out of here. Hmm. I think I've been in here. Yes, I have. Okay, um, let's scry again since we're up here. It's probably just going to be the same thing. Okay, a man. Okay, this is literally where we are. Okay. Okay, so there's something down here, and then we're gonna have to go back to the third, I guess. All right, let's listen for good old Jimmy before we leave. Because the mannequin scene that we just saw is right there to the left, so we do need to do that. 
He's pretty close, I guess. I'd like him to be further. But that wind is really picking up. It's kind of crazy. Let's wait a little longer for another Jimmy noise to happen. Okay, he's far enough. I don't know what that's all about. Did we come in here already? Okay. Damn it. He, I think he saw me too. Don't look at me, Jimmy, please. You make me nervous, please. He's gonna come back too and he's gonna hit me. And last time I did this, he hid in the bathroom. He hid in the bathroom and I left the wardrobe and he whacked me. And I don't know if I can avoid that. So I'm just going to sit here for a little bit longer. Okay. He's going to... See? He hid in the bathroom. What can I do to avoid that? Alright, I guess we're going back to the third floor. I don't even think I went the right way. Maybe I did. Probably not. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like we did. Oh, we just went the long way. I don't know. Just get me out of here. Okay. We need our spirit box. We're just gonna go immediately up to the third floor because that is what it said to do after the second. And we clearly didn't have any luck on the second floor. We didn't have any lights flickering or anything like that. So we're just going to go straight up to the third. And hopefully there's a ghost up there that's ready to tell us some info about good old Jimmy here. I've been thinking about what game to play next. And I downloaded this game on Steam. I forget what it's called, but it has, it's also very horror related, which I think is great. Okay, that's a good sound because that means that there's probably a ghost somewhere. Can we turn around and see something? Let's go in here. Okay, it's this room again. This is where I was. Let's scry. Jimmy. Okay. Second floor. Okay, that's where we are. We're in this room. But I don't really know what that does for us. He 
He's super close. Hey, buddy. I wonder who played him. We're going to have to look him up. Love to know what he looks like. Let's see. Who played Jimmy? We well, while we're while we're allowing Jimmy to give us some space, we're going to Google the actor. Um hold Martha? You're dead, is that what he said? Oh, doesn't even look like Jimmy. Apparently, this is the person who plays Jimmy. It definitely looks more like Jimmy in this picture here. So, it's kind of cool. Okay, Jimmy's far enough away now. I don't know what to do. We just, I think maybe we should go try these keys down at the ground floor. Because that blue door, he said the old boiler room. So that would make sense. I don't know if we even can, honestly, but um, we're gonna try. Since we kind of hit a roadblock here. A little bit. Okay. It is over here. No, 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 no. This way. This door right here is what I think. I can't use them. Shoot. What is that on the wall right here? Um, what's it look like over a normal key? Do I have any? I don't think I do. No. You haven't asked about this yet. Oh, can I talk to somebody here? Is someone there? No. No one's here. Well, since we're here, it's probably going to tell us to go up to the second or third floor again. But there's no flickering lights, so I don't really know what's going on. Mm-hmm. Third. Okay. Third it is. Let's go. We're going back up to the third. Jimmy's here. We're hiding. Is that my heart? 
Or is that the game making my heart pound? <laughs> okay, here he comes. Go away. You make me nervous, Jimmy. No, 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 please. <laughs> okay, thank God. So if you hide in the wardrobe, there's a chance that he will hide in the bathroom. So when you leave the wardrobe, he just whacks you right on the head. <sighs> so the lights were flickering and he sounded pretty far away. So let's leave. Maybe we have to go in this room now that the lights are flickering. I mean, it did have a picture of the room. Hmm. I don't know. All right, let's wait for Jimmy. I'm trying to get this ghost to appear. It's the noise. The noise is what scares me. <laughs> that just shows you how effective music can be. Okay, Jimmy, walk away. Come on, Jimmy, walk away. Okay. I don't know. Okay, he's far. He's far away. We're good. And the light's not even there, it goes. Something need to happen. I don't know what to do. When in doubt, scry. Okay. Second floor. And then here, this is where we are right now. What is supposed to happen here that I'm missing? Okay. Was that, is it trying to tell my future? All right, Jimmy, where are you, honey? That's hard, I know you made it up, your little story about that psychiatrist. I know where you got it from. I knew I'd read it before. It's in your bloody scrapbook. Come out here! Jimmy! Okay. Is it Harvey? Dang it, I'm gonna have to go outside. Is it Harvey?
Is it Harvey? Do we just need to wait until Jimmy's away or something? Why wasn't it let me ask? Hmm. Make a noise, Jimmy. Come on, Jimmy. Okay, apparently he's gone, so we're going back out. Shoot, he's right there. Okay, we gotta hide. We gotta hide. I hear him. Talk to me, Jimmy. Where are you? I need to go back out there and talk to Harvey. So Harvey can tell me what you've done and how terrible you are. Are you still out there? I just want him to talk just once. I don't know, let's try it in here. Did we already? Is someone there? They'll probably be out here ready to bonk me, to be honest. Is someone there? Hello? Is anyone there? Where are you? Down here? Is anyone there? All right. Is it Harvey? Yes. I saw you shouting, telling Jimmy to admit he lied. Did he? Of course he did. He just laughed. Then he started setting little traps for me. Some of them not so little. All right, setting traps. When you said Jimmy started setting traps for you, is that connected to what you said about the coil of wire? Maybe. Maybe? That doesn't give me any information. Traps? I don't know. Oh no. Is this how we when died? When you started setting traps for you, does that the have to do with what you said about the dangerous heater? Jimmy was always playing with electricity. Only he was never the one who got shocked. Oh yeah, that is super funny. So he clearly used this. Alright, let's get out of here. It's saying go to the first floor, so that's. He's right here. We need to hurry this up to the first floor. Whew! Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Okay, let's follow the. Compass.
Alright, get me in there. Is it Harvey? Yeah, it's Harvey. I saw you suffering an electric shock. What happened? He knew that was my heater. He arrived the casing straight to the mains. Almost killed me. He did it deliberately. But Rose wouldn't have it. Why was Rose in denial? He needed to be taught a lesson. He damaged my property, so I decided to damage his. Oh no, what did you do? Damage his property. What? This maybe? Because he always had it on him. Decided to damage his property. Is that connected to what you said about the coil of wire? Kit wouldn't be right. Maybe. Okay, that didn't help me. Okay, damage his property. Damage his property. Who does the sword belong to? Damage his property. Maybe this? Because it was his property? I don't know. When you said you decided to damage his property, does that have something to do with what you said about the scrapbook? No, so that's not it. Okay. When you said you decided to damage his property, does that have anything to do with what you said about the crossbow? Mm -mm. Damage his property. Um. Hmm. He damaged my property, so I decided to damage his. What could that be? I don't know. I mean, we're trying everything, when you right? When decided to damage his property, does that have something to do with what you said about the gun? Hmm. When you said you decided to damage his property, does that have something to do with those rusty keys? No. <gasps> Did I lose him? Is someone there? I lost him. Hmm. So we need to go to the second floor. I don't know. Let's try him again, I guess. Is it Harvey? Is it Harvey? Is it Harvey? <laughs> they, they tell the voice actor, just ask the same question, but in a different tone each time. All right, we're leaving. Are we on the second floor? No, we're on the first.
Is someone there? I heard voices, but I guess not. Hmm. He was right behind me. He peeked out of the bathroom. What is that noise? There are no other guests. There are no other guests in here. We're leaving. If we get bonked, we get bonked. to go now. Oh, thank God. Hi, Jimmy. Please go away. Is that Jimmy or the ghost? I can't tell. Talk to me, Jimmy. Are we good to leave? We're going. Who's there? Scared the crap out of me. Okay. He's on my tail, so we're hiding. Yep, I knew he was coming in. He's scary. Thank God.
Are we good? We're gonna find out. Oh shoot, he's close. It is Jimmy. And he's coming in, I bet. But we're so close to the noise, whatever the noise is. Do you have like the TV playing or something? Talk to me, Jimmy, please. Hi, Jimmy, what's up? Go away, please. He's still so close. I'm trying to listen for him. Let's go. You know? I don't know what kind of noises are going on there. We're going to the second floor. Bye, Jimmy. See you later. What do you got for me, Compass? This room is creepy and we need to leave it now. Understand what's supposed to happen here. Hello. Hello. Like, I don't understand. Am I supposed to like look through this again or? Is Jimmy up here yet? Did Jimmy have time to make it to the elevator and get his little booty up here? No? Hiding. I heard him laugh and I was not comfortable with that so we will hide from him and listen
He's pretty far still. I don't know, maybe we just need to start going into these like surrounding rooms or something. Let's scry again, maybe that'll trigger something to happen. That's where we are. holding his bat. I love that. Back to first floor, huh? Okay. Alright, let's listen for Jimmy before we leave. I would feel more comfortable if we would hear him from a distance. Okay, Jimmy, just go away, please. Okay, he sounds pretty far away. We can go now. Nothing? Hmm. I don't know what to do. Go in here. So Jimmy's not here then, huh? Did we need to like come from this way or something? Let's go this way. <laughs> He's coming in, I bet, so. Mm-hmm, I knew it. Boy, do I know my Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. What's up?
The door's not shutting. Does that mean he's coming back? That took so long for him to shut the door. Thank God. I'm dead meat. Oh no. I hope not. That would suck. Talk to me again, Jimmy. I want to know where you're at. Hmm. I think we're good. We're okay. He's kind of close, but... Nineteen. Twenty one, twenty two. Let's go in here. Is someone there? No. We are going to go back to room. That's not what I wanted. We're going to go back to the first floor. I want to go back to talk to Harvey, see if Harvey's there, we can communicate. Because I'm having some trouble continuing. So I think we need to go back to room 113, which is where I think we were originally... We saw him uh, get shocked, I think. Yeah, and we never like combined the story. One thirteen this way. Is it over here? Mm, I don't know. I don't think so. No. This is not correct. One oh six. Where was this? One oh eight. Shoot. I'm really running through this. No, this is... You gotta turn around. Here. Duh. Alright, we gotta talk to him again. Is someone there? Please. I can hear you. Thank God. Is it Harvey? Yeah, it's Harvey. So we need to ask about the pair and the bats? In case he needed him. When you said you decided to damage his property, does that have something to do with what you said about the crickets oh. and baseball bats? I kept those bats for self-defense. Yeah, He's breaking stuff, man. It's not gonna make him very happy. Alright, now let's scry. How about that? That should have done something for me. Second floor.
Okay, second floor. That's what it's telling us, so. We're leaving. Hopefully Jimmy's not near. This way, I think, right? Yes. Is it the radio out here? Must be. Jimmy must have turned it on. Don't know. Okay. So now that that's done, we can go to the second floor. And there were, it appeared two times in the scrying mirror. So we will take a look at what this compass is telling us to do. Is he okay? Are you okay, Harvey? Alright, let's go back. I bet you he's in here, which would be wonderful. Okay. Is it Harvey? Yeah, it's Harvey. I saw you with a bat coming out of a room. What had you done? How dare he? He soon retaliated. Well, he's dead. Harvey's dead, so what did he do? Shoot him, or...? When you said Jimmy soon retaliated, does that have something to do with what you said about the gun? Okay. Does that have something to do with the crossbow? When you said Jimmy soon retaliated, does that have anything to do with what you said about the crossbow? Jimmy was fond of weapons like that. I hadn't seen him all night after it smashed his stuff. I should have guessed he'd been working on his next little trick. Ew. Okay. Nice. So, let's scry again. Okay. I don't think we're done with Dr. Bose yet. I know we're done with Amy. Okay, so maybe if we go back to this little corner, um, we can see something. Um, so I know we're done with Amy, but I don't even think we've started Rose yet, and we're not done with Bose, and I think we're s finishing up with Harvey. Okay, so we gotta head over to room 215, which I think we're pretty close to, actually. Could be wrong. Shoot. We're just leaving. Let's hopefully we don't get bonked. Oh no, we're not close. Okay. Frickin' Jimmy. And he's coming in too, so we gotta hide. Maybe not. Did we get lucky? Mm. 
No. Okay. Oops. Jimmy, are you here? Sometimes it's hard to tell, like, is it a ghost making the noise or is it Jimmy? I don't think it's Jimmy. All right, what room two? It's Jimmy, he's pretty close. I think we're looking for room 215, it said, which is right down the hall. Oh, we're in room 217, we're really close. Um, it's right next to those mannequins that we're also looking for. So, as soon as Jimmy clears out, we should be good to go. Jimmy. Talk to me. He's still pretty close. There's some ghost noises going on, though. Because we're getting close to room 215. Okay, we're leaving. Hopefully Jimmy's not out here. I don't want to get bonked. No, I'm not. Um... 215 this way I don't think that's that's not Jimmy no you little jerk I was so close to 215 too and he's right by the ghost, so now I'm gonna have to hide in here because he's definitely coming in the room. Because he saw me. See? I knew it. Jerk. Just let me find out what you did to these poor people, Jimmy. It's not fair. It's a different noise. Okay, is he gone? I don't trust that 100%. Well, of course you do. You saw me. Yeah, we are very close to ghost noises, which is great. I think we're really close to being done with Harvey, so... That's good. You're being rude. Let's go in room 215 and spin around a few times. What did he do? Alright, let's talk to him. Is it Harvey? He's gonna be quiet and I'm gonna have to go outside. Oh, good! I saw you being shot in the leg with an arrow. What happened? Oh my god. Okay. Uh, the keys? Like, did he lock him in the boiler room or something? Like, what happened? When you said you thought Jimmy would like hiding in the basement, does that have something to do with those rusty keys? Locked him in. That's not good. So Rose must be Jimmy's mom. And father? Or what? We're going to the basement now, by the way. That's what we're doing.
What's the best way to go about this? This way? Yes. This way. Okay, we're gonna take a break from Jimmy and head down to the lower basement. To the lower ground. Deserved it. Am I supposed to be uh, waiting? Oh. Jimmy deserved it. You know what I mean? Like, maybe not, but. You know what? No, he did. He killed people. He deserved it. Is anyone there? Maybe go in here? Is someone there? No? Is someone there? Hmm. Alright, we will find out what was happening with Harvey next time. See ya!